When I saw this home hack, I knew that I had to do it. You guys know that I love going to the thrift store and picking up books to DIY. I came across this home hack of making a real monotone collection of books to display. And I thought, this is so much fun, I have to do it. So I grabbed eight books at the thrift store. My thrift store sells books for a dollar each that are hardback. And I just try to find a variety of sizes just to give me a little bit of visual interest, but not too much contrast. I want them all to be around the same size, but just a little bit different. Next, I decided that I was going to paint them. I have this one gray paint color from Sherwin-Williams that I have as a sample and I really like the color. So I'm going to paint two of the books that color. Next, to make it in that same color tone family, what I did was I took that paint and I mixed it with some white chalk paint by Waverly. That's going to give me just a slight variation of the color in a lighter gray. I'm going to paint two more books with that lighter gray color. Next, I went back to my same gray paint and added in some black ink by Waverly to give me more of a dark gray color. And then two more of my books I'm going to paint in that dark gray color. My final books, I'm just going to paint white. And really, I only did one coat of paint on all these books, but when you put them together as a collection, they look so nice sitting out and you would have no idea that these books only cost a dollar. So this next home hack is really gonna help you step up your pillow game. So whenever you buy a pillow cover, you usually buy a specific size. So most pillow covers come in like an 18 by 18. So what you wanna do is buy your pillow insert maybe one to two inches larger. So I like to do this at Ikea. I buy most of my pillow inserts at Ikea. So at Ikea, I'm gonna buy a 20 by 20 pillow insert, and then my cover is usually 18 by 18. So when I put that pillow insert into my cover, it's going to make it look a lot more fluffy and full. Just keep that in mind whenever you purchase your pillow inserts, buy them a little bit larger than your pillow covers. So this next home hack is for your bathroom. Sometimes it's kind of hard to figure out like what you should use in your bathroom to decorate with because you don't want to put normal home decor items in there as frequently. So what I like to do is decorate my bathroom with items that I'm actually using in my bathroom. One of my favorite things to decorate are inexpensive soaps. So you wanna pick up a clear container or some container from around your house. This one, again, I grabbed at the thrift store. And then I also picked up really inexpensive soap from Walmart. And I'm gonna take them out of the package and just put them into my clear container. I'll put the lid back on and this makes a great decoration for the shelf in my bathroom. So if you're not already using mirrors in your home decorations, you definitely want to use them. Mirrors are great in rooms because they really help to reflect the light around the room and they can make a small room look even larger. I love putting mirrors in living rooms or office spaces or pretty much anywhere around your home. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.